Okay, division agents, all I can say is good luck. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and the ratio of truth to sarcasm in that opening statement is something like 70% sarcasm, but 30% truthful. What the hell am I talking about? Well, the new Trig League went live today, and let me show you the requirements to finish this thing up. First off is Roosevelt Island, and this one requires you to finish it in under an hour. Yeah, your eyes and ears are not deceiving you. A freaking hour. Screwing around, we finished it in just over 13 minutes, and the required league difficulty is just that you finish this thing on hard. Manning National Zoo is also part of this league. Again, the time limit on hard is one hour. You can see we did it in just over 20 minutes. So these aren't even close. You also need to nail down 500 hostiles disrupted. I was using a jammer pulse and racking them up left and right. And a couple of hours of gameplay, I'm already halfway to the 500 required. You also need 250 hyena elites eliminated. I recommend you set your world tier to heroic, hit those hyena controlled checkpoints in the northeast part of the map and just go from checkpoint to checkpoint and knock these things out. Like always, if you were in a group and you don't get the killing blow, don't expect to count that elite kill towards your totals. But here comes the fun ones. Check these two out. First off, you've got our old friend Pentagon on challenging difficulty. Top time is under 25 minutes. We finished it in just over 15 minutes. Not really on full sweaty mode, just kind of joking as we went through it. But this brings me to that 30% good luck with truth to it part of the statement. DARPA labs on hard. So you look at it and it looks harmless, right? But in under 15 minutes, you see that I finished this one solo in 14 minutes, 12 seconds. So I had what, 48 seconds to spare, but I can see a ton of players really struggling to get the top time for this one. I initially tried it with several different forms of my skill build, but I simply couldn't do enough damage fast enough to get the time under 15 minutes. I ended up switching over to this all red DPS Heartbreaker setup with a Kingbreaker, which you can see on your screen. And instead of a revive hive, I actually swapped it out for that jammer pulse and take that as my little tip and trick for this one. There are plenty of drones and doggos to deal with and the jammer pulse just lays them out flatter than a pancake. Still, I guess what makes it all look so out of place are those two missions on hard difficulty set at a freaking hour along with Pentagon on challenging, but at 25 minutes, which is entirely doable. Then you have DARPA, which even when you are sprinting around dropping targets quickly is still a lengthy mission, made even longer when rolling solo because of those hack the terminal zones and timers. Anyways, I've got some highlights of my DARPA clear just to show you what I was doing and I hope you enjoy this run. By the way, the channel is now under 400 subscribers away from hitting 100K, all thanks to you. If you haven't yet smashed that subscribe button, please do so and don't forget to ring the bell to receive all my future upload alerts. Enjoy the DARPA clear along with my commentary. 100K, here we come, baby. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer signing off. Okay, so here we go. Let's try this again. On hard difficulty, DARPA, this is not gonna be easy. This is a long run through DARPA. I ended up trying this a couple times on my skill build and it just wasn't working. But I've actually switched over to this uh, Heartbreaker, Kingbreaker setup, all red DPS, of course. Uh, rolling through, I believe I have Vigilance on my backpack and I'm running around with Fox's Prayer knee pads. Let me hit these guys, here we go take some ACS 12 to the face but what I've done is I switched over to the jammer pulse instead of the revive hive um, because there's just so much tech you have to deal with especially in this next area come on there we go uh, where you're dealing with drones and doggos and etc it's been a long time since we've been down here into DARPA right for anything oh my god look at this janky aim jeez it's been a long time since I've been down here in DARPA but interesting to as we looked at what they uh, brought us for that um, that latest, I don't know, what they call it, Twitch stream, world premiere, uh, they were talking about the Descent game mode, uh, but you could see that they were clearly using DARPA. This is where we're going to be using the, the Jammer Pulse. They were clearly using DARPA and Pentagon uh, as the backdrops, which I think are incredible levels. I'm just going to pulse these guys. 
They just always seem to be associated with the most difficult the missions they assign to us. There we go. Man, this build slaps. Of course, we're only on hard difficulty, but... Probably best to just try and overwhelm everything the game can throw at you. So we're just going to try and out-DPS everything. Also, it's been a while since, you know, I've played. I think uh, my troubles with the game are probably well documented, but Heartbreaker, to me, doesn't feel like it's building stacks. Even with the ACS-12, it takes a while to build up the stacks. Let me pulse these guys. There you go. That's why we're running the jammer pulse. Uh, maybe somebody can leave me a comment in the uh, comment section below. Was Heartbreaker nerfed? Is it that difficult now to build up stacks? Even when I'm rolling with the ACS-12 and popping things, uh, it takes a while. This is what's going to slow you down on solo mode right here, though. These things. Standing in these individually and waiting for them to uh, fill up. Oh, damn. There we go. Pulse. Got him. Uh, what was that? Oh, doggo. Okay, there we go. That is not a doggo shooting me. Is that a Chungus? Oh, it is. Man, this game sometimes. Hard difficulty, and it throws a Chungus at you. Okay. All right, we're gonna fry him. There we go. All right, we got the pulse back. Every time we hit these two, these count towards uh, jammed or what hostiles disrupted. They're gonna come out of that closet over there. So great way to rack these things up. Those dis uh, disrupts for the Trig League, absolutely. There we go. One, two. Oh, he hid. There we go. Hostiles eliminated. Get going. We've got to secure that bioreactor. Here we go. Robot testing grounds. This is where that jammer pulse comes in. We're gonna jam the doggo over here, and then I'm gonna try and build the stacks up on him. Yeah, stacks still take a while to build. I don't know. Maybe they changed that. Got him. My aim is a little off today. I'm a little bit behind the targets. Just takes so long to build up your stacks. Mm. Of course, though, with the doggos, remember. You want something that does health damage. And rolling around with an AR, all juiced up. Look at that, just rips right through the doggos. Of course, we're only on hard difficulty, but... All right, let's go get this guy. Ow. There we go. All right, one more. Come on. Come on, Echo Leader. Throw something at me. I got him now. There we go. There's that one and is that it? Perfect. There you go. All entrances sealed. So we're at six minutes touching the door. You should be able to get to the vents. Such a beautiful level too here. Let me jam these guys to start this thing off. There we go. There we go. Activity target reached. Aim starting to pop a little bit. Oh, they're coming out of there. There we go. Love hearing those headshots. Get him, get him. Oh. I think I got him before the post. I did. Throw those drones up. Got it. There we go. Perfect. This would be incredible. Especially on their, their new descent game mode. Hitting this room. It'd be interesting to see what they cook up if they use this room. Let's hit him with the ACS. Sort of rip through him. There we go. Would that give me half an armor bar? That's kind of wild. These tunnels don't seem to be on any plans. You're on your own for now. All right, jam him. Jam him. Oh, I think I missed the doggo on that one. Eh, that's too bad. Let me push by this. Well, I picked up some more armor on that one. Did I finish him? No, he's a sliver away. Come on. 
There we go. Oof. Got lucky there. Those sniper dogs, even on hard difficulty, will pop you, especially with an all red build. Right, over anticipated where he's going to go. All right, come on. There we go. Ooh, look at that strafe. Went right around that shotgun blast. Those PvP skills. I really don't. Here's another one of these uh, timed encounter areas. These take a while. Ow. All right. Handle that tank. Nice. Oof. Dancing around those shotgun blasts. Got him. Go. Ow. Dude. Red bar's ripping me up. Oh, got him. Now, I understand I don't have the best in armor, but I'm only dealing with hard level difficulty, right? Are they supposed to hit that hard? Have I forgotten how to play this game? Come on, give me my armor back. There we go. Command, we've lost control of the package. Any units in proximity? Okay, we're about to hit 10 minutes here. Everyone else get to the helipad. Got him. Put that drone up. I hear him below me. There he is. Darn it, it's to the left of me. Missed him. Getting too distracted behind me. Where? Behind me. There we go. Oof. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Alright, here we go with Brenner. This one's not easy. If I remember correctly, this gets pretty wild here. It doesn't matter what difficulty you're on. I'm going to go for these turrets first. Right, there's one. Right. I need to get rid of the shield. There we go. Get some mobility going. Yes. Next turret. There we go. Oh, this guy's hammering me. Clear these guys out. There we go. Got a wrap on. Wow. All right, they got a res bot. Took out that. Pretty soon Brenner's gonna make his uh, appearance. Oh, this guy came out right in front of me. There's Brenner. Last thing I wanted is a jammer hitting around me. Oof. Okay, there. I'm going to start hitting Brenner. If I can burn him down, I, I think the way the mechanics work, it's been a long time since I've taken this guy on, but I think the mechanic works. Uh, the faster you can burn him down, the faster you can get him to jump down. That's what we want. We want him down here with us. He's shooting at us already. He pops, too. It doesn't matter what level he's on. He pops. All right, there we go. Took his armor down half. Come on. He's going to heal up from there. There he goes. He heals. It's a nuisance. Oh, freaking mortars. Ow. What I need is for him to jump down. I'm going to wrap again. There he comes. There he comes. Come on, Brenner. All right. I'm hitting him. We're going to drop him here right now. Here and now. You're going down. Got him. Nice. Yeah, definitely my recommendation. Try and drop him down. Burn down his armor. Push him through his sequence. Oh, he's over here. There we go. Uh, let me pulse this. We'll take care of this doggo. Look at that. Doggo down. And... And... There we go. All right. 
Wow, so... Oh, that's right. You have to wait for the chopper to show up so the timer keeps going. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to see a lot. I, I guarantee you there's going to be a lot of pissed off people. They're going to hit like 1510, 1508. There we go. We're at 14-something. Can I attach? Can I attach? Is it bugged? Am I just stupid? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I'm just stupid. 1411, 1412, somewhere in there. There you go. That's how you do it. Good luck, agents.